they were access to the information that uh, they needed uh, additional trucking capacity. It also got us the contact to be able to present a bid to do that. She talked to Roger about the opportunity and they decided to start a trucking company. And then they made the greatest decision of their life concerning me and they called me and asked me if I wanted to. <laughs> Roger and Amy were supposed to be here tonight, but Roger is recovering from my own cancer. Um, so uh, if you're inclined, keep them in your prayers, please. Um, anyway, they asked me to work with them, and I don't go anywhere without my best friend for going on 49 years, my wife, Joan. And Joan uh, had a very significant role in the transport's development, uh, not recognized by many. Uh, she had a tremendous influence on things like values, policies. Uh, she had a more objective uh, advice during difficult times on how to do things and make sure we always treated people with dignity and respect. Um, just a couple other things when somebody needed to have a leave of absence, she'd come in and do their job, so it would be there when we came back. Um, anyway, uh, I'm, I'm very uh, grateful that I had a chance to be one of the founders of Big Transport you know, uh, with Roger Navy Grimms and Joan. Um, I'd, al I'd also like to talk about uh, 15 people that I worked with at Paper Transport. Or at Shade Information Systems who saw fit to come to work at Paper Transport uh, and they all made very significant contributions to where we are. Uh, Eleven of those people were drivers. The first one was Roger Grimsley. We still have two of them with us. They're Dennis Hendricks and Phil Bay. Both have over 20 years experience with the company. Um, there were four non-driver position people who came to Paper Transport. The first one was Gene Murphy. Gene. Uh, Gene joined us, I think, in our second year, and until we established a finance and accounting department to get her a little help, she single-handedly took care of invoicing accounts receivable and collections, which is extremely important in trying to make a company. Um, she retired a couple of years ago after 21 years of work with people transport. Still looking good, Gene! <laughs> to join us, I'd like to introduce Karen Dickman to those who don't know her. It was Craig Dickman. Craig joined the company in 2001, and I could give you an unbelievable list of the things he accomplished that made the company significantly more sustainable and capable. I'm going to mention a couple of them. First, and most importantly, he improved our safety process, uh, and we've been able to continually build on that since. One of the things I'm most proud of at River Transport is how safe we are and the effort that's made every day to be safe. Uh, Craig also uh, built a new business plan, converted over half of our capacity to dedicated long-term contract exclusive fees for trucks by a single customer. That's extremely important during downtimes in the industry so that we don't just survive, we thrive. Um, he improved our IT department and doing so here at Debbie Delcar, where are you Debbie? year and a half ago, so with a very capable IT process and staff. Um, he improved our HR and in doing so hired Mark Krakowski, who most of you know. <laughs> oh, come on. He's still making a remark on paper transport, and you see where that goes. <laughs> 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 Anyway, uh, I, I'm very pleased that those people saw fit to come to Paper Transport support despite having worked with me over at Shady. <laughs> um, one other thing I'd like to tell you about, and uh, that is my best day at Paper Transport. Um, I have, could make up a, a, a 
I, I make up, I could produce an unbelievable list of very good things that have happened to me in paper transport over the years. Um, I find myself often reflecting on the things that stand out to me. And um, I almost always uh, go to where I think about who's working in paper transport, um, our unbelievable driver force, and is it, you told me 102 people in non driving jobs, is it 98? Okay. 98, you guys who uh, take care of all the support elements that make it easier or more possible for our drivers to be successful. Um, anyway, I'm, when I reflect on these things, I'm, I'm often reminded of a sign I saw in my son's office some time ago, and it reads something like, ability defines what you can do. Uh, motivation drives how much of it you're going to do. And attitude determines the level of excellence at which you're going to do it. In every place I look in paper transport, I see people come to work every day with good work ethic, values, great ability, highly motivated, and with an attitude that's brought paper transport to work with us. Um, I'm pretty sure you know we appreciate it uh, at every level. Um, so if I want to talk about people who made a significant contribution, I have to talk about every one of you, and I don't think we really want to. <laughs> um, as far as that, my best day of paper transport, uh, you're going to have to wait because I don't believe it's happened yet. I believe our best times are ahead of us. So thank you for everything you've done. And I keep going to get us where we are and where we're going. And um, be sure to get home safely tonight. And